1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news is read by humayun zeb abbasi prime minister says the government is taking all out steps to give incentives to investors for promotion of industrialization and exports China says it is looking forward to working closely with Pakistan on investing in special economic zones to contribute to Naya Pakistan initiative. Pakistan has welcomed the adoption of OIC led resolution by UN Human Rights Council in response to grave violation of international law and human rights by Israel in Palestinian occupied territories. National Command and Operations Center has decided to open up and walk in vaccination for people aged 30 and above from tomorrow. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the government is taking all out steps to incentive investor for promotion of industrialization and exports in the country. He was addressing the ceremony of commercial launch of Rashakai Petro Prioritize Special Economic Zones near Nashera today. The Prime Minister said hurdles are being removed to facilitate the local and foreign investors to invest in Pakistan. Emphasizing on establishing export based industry in the country, he said the future of Pakistan lies in industrialization. Imran Khan said Rashakai Special Economic Zone is being established. under cpac he said pakistan has a great potential and can learn from the fast industrial growth of china addressing the ground breaking ceremony chinese ambassador nongrong said that beijing is looking forward to working closely with islamabad and investing in special economic zones to contribute to the naya pakistan initiative he said china wants to invest in pakistan to help the country achieve sustainable economic development Pakistan has welcomed the adoption of OIC led resolution by the United Nations Human Rights Council in response to grave violations of international law and human rights by Israel. In a statement, Foreign Office spokesperson Saheed Afiz Chaudhry said, "The HRC special session and its decision to establish a standing international commission of inquiry to investigate human rights violations represent global resolve to end systematic immunity and injustice and begin a process of meaningful accountability." He said Pakistan stands in solidarity with Palestinians and shares the international community's expectation for effective implementation of this resolution to ensure respect for international law as well as for rights and dignity of the people of Palestine. Minister of Finance Shaukat Rain has said the government has evolved comprehensive plans in 12 different sectors to put the economy on sustainable growth paths. Talking to private news channel he said these plans would be implemented on short medium and long term basis with consultation of all stakeholders the minister said the government instead of imposing new taxes in the upcoming budget will broaden the tax base with use of technology to generate revenue he said inflation will start coming down from july this year the finance minister said the government plans to take administrative measures and build storage of for creating strategic reserves for five basic commodities to check exploitation by hoarders The National Command and Operations Center has decided to open a walk-in vaccination for people aged 30 and above from tomorrow. This was stated by Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar in tweet today. He said the people with 30 years of age and above may go to any vaccination center and get vaccinated. Parliamentary Secretary Health Dr. Nosheen Hamid says that so far 10% population of the country has been vaccinated against COVID-19 talking to a private news channel she said vaccination process would be boosted in coming days to protect the previous lives replying to a question Nosheen Hamid said number of positive coronavirus cases decreasing day by day due to effective steps against pandemic virus she said the government is taking various steps for maximum vaccination of population and by 2021 around 70 million people would be vaccinated as per target In Afghanistan 23 militants have been killed and 11 injured in an air strike over Taliban hideouts in Sholgra district in Balkh province. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis you can log on to our website which is radio.gov.pk and also you can watch live video streaming for our bulletin on the link facebook.com/radio pakistan news official.